guys, Jake and MJ, back in for more live reactions to Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Throw them away. I almost said Kaito said It's been a little while for that. Hi, guys. Hey. I um, do not have the flu. Congratulations. It's just a really bad cold. Yeah, um, so... Yeah, YouTube, the the browser just spontaneously just crashed, like, five minutes before we were about to go like, live. what just happened to the browser? It's like, where'd it go? It was there a moment ago, and then it was gone. <laughs> uh, MJ's sick, as you can tell. Um, I have a really bad cold I picked up from my friends over the weekend while we were in the cabin, which I went to right after the last live stream. Yeah. Um, so, apparently... We decided to lie dormant until... If you go into classic mode in YouTube Studio, you can find how to get back into the studio room of a pre-established stream. You can't do it from the new studio, as far as I've been able to tell, but if you go into the classic studio... Apparently you can, which once again just reinforces how much YouTube is continually trying to find different ways to make itself less functional, and I don't know why. So that's that's our, our fun challenge of the week. Um, well, yes, of, of the live stream for the week, obviously we have. That we like to do very hard, and I hope yeah. you understand now. Because a lot of people keep asking us why we don't also stream the episode in the corner. Yep. Uh, and why. as always, our reminder, uh, no spoilers in the chat, since this is our first time watching it. Um, hey, Austin. So welcome everyone coming into the chat. Um, I currently have no idea how many people are in the chat right now, because I'm using the <laughs> older version, which doesn't have the number anywhere, because... Yeah. And every everything about YouTube with live streaming just gets weirder and more confusing every time that we attempt it. It's very strange. Last week went pretty smooth, but that's about it. Um, this is going to be on the internet for all perpetuity, and everyone's going to see me being stupid. I'm sorry that you're so sick. Huh? Because being sick makes you dumb. I'm I'm also just. Um, Exhausted from the week. It was only a three-day school week, but it, were up to 11. it was a very, very busy three-day school week. Thank you. Um, hey, Athena. Uh, I hope that everyone um, enjoyed the uh, the bonus video from the from our our three-day weekend. Uh, I'm glad you worked early. You know the the seven for the seven-year anniversary of power reviews. Um, yeah, I hope you guys all had a chance to watch the Demons and Definitions. Yes, the new Conversations and Context video, Demons and Definitions. If you haven't checked it out yet, you should. Yeah! Uh, it's an important topic, and I'm really glad that I, um, that I finally got to tackle it. Uh, even if it completely wiped me out for my three-day weekend, going into my three-day week with that weird day in between where there was a conference thing, whatever. Uh, but yeah, Superintendent's we day. had the superintendent's conference day, and then we had the open house for the school, and then I had some observations for my grad work, and then I had to take the kids on a field trip, and so it, it was just a very busy three days where I had to do a lot more prep than I normally do, despite having fewer classes. Um, but now that week is over, we're here to enjoy some Power Rangers. Yay. Uh, I got to do some filming this morning uh, with, Dave. with Dave to get caught up on a few more things with Guy so that we have, uh, our, we we're again, making that slow, steady progress towards actually having things done. Um, I, I, I just have so many things on my plate every week right now, but... Hopefully this weekend I can catch up a little bit now that I don't have that bonus video to work on, even though I do have a different video to work on for a different thing, and that's a completely separate thing, plus at least two more videos that i got to put together, so Even if you didn't Monday. like demons as Power Rangers villains, you still might like the video he made. Yes. Because remember, this takes Power Rangers stuff 
and uses it to discuss real world stuff. We like have the one we had about autism. We don't. We don't have any Halloween costumes. How do we week. access the episode? We have it on cable TV. On yeah. DVR. Yeah, we just we just uh, recorded it on cable. That's no how we have Halloween the costumes. Not today. No. It's been a long week. Uh, I had I had honestly almost forgotten that it was the Halloween episode today. I had forgotten it was the Halloween episode. I don't think you ever knew it was a Halloween episode. I don't know episode. if I knew. I, I, um, I wasn't I going know. to make you dress up because you're sick. I'm dying. Uh, we'll dress up when it's actually Halloween. Yeah, well, I could have worn the dinosaur onesie. That's fair. That's cozy. That is fair. Um, no, we got Spectrum, <laughs> which, is, which is awful. But, and you're welcome to the chat. All right, so, I think it's time to dive on in. We uh, got to do um, Halloween costumes next week. Will that be close to actual Halloween? It will be closer than it is now. Or will the week after that be even closer to actual Halloween? The week after that. No, wait, no, uh, next week. Next week would probably be the best week. Because the week, week after that would be right after Halloween. Next week, Halloween costumes. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do something for next week. But for now, let's take a look at the Halloween special of Power, Power Rangers, Rangers Beast, Beast Morphers. Morphers. Hypnotic Halloween. Oh, where is it? You should try to dress up as a Viking. I think so. Happy Halloween, brother. That's so cute. Ah, perfect. Not as perfect as my costume. No offense, Nick. Frankenstein but and the monster. You just and look like adorable. yourself. That's true. Well, Dr. Frankenstein and I are both scientists. It's got very certain uh, means. Nothing's more fun than Frankenstein's monster. Oh, it's just mine. Look at it, it's made out of that Scary too, right? I wish she said that. I wish she tried to dress up like it. Horns. Axe. I'll solve the case. You're a Viking. Nailed it. <laughs> Detective Sherlock Holmes. I'm entering my dad, Zoe. <laughs> the, their, their accents. Thanks so much for bringing Their the accents are everywhere. You look great. No worries. Oh. Hey, where's Zoe? Nice little couch. Oh, he said he'll be late. He's not that big on Halloween. <laughs> oh, are they going to be watching like Scary Story? Oh, wow. It's one of the. It's one of the court. It's one of so, the intergalactic uh, Halloween court pumpkins in the background. Weird streaming service. Oh, but, so it is. It's free. And the reviews say it'll scare our socks off. They're watching scary movies on the screen. Okay, can you actually eat popcorn? Oh no, oh no. I think... Yep, hypnotic Halloween, here it comes. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's gonna work on steel too, apparently. I think I see this episode in the next It's Grazzle. Costumes here. Listen closely, loud and clear. No longer are you playing pretend. You are your character till the very end. Hello, Jacob Brown. Hey, what's he up to? Guys, <laughs> Steele's eyes are hilarious. Oh man, he hypnotized you. your accent. Ravi, what is your accent? How would Dr. Say we have I don't know, but I bet you'd have a lot in common with Nate. Huh? Holmes. What? What I have some is... For what? Come now, don't be shy. What is happening? He's dressed up yes, as a Bobby. Sir. How can I help? This, this I is way too effective. A missing person, yes, that's right. His name is Ravi Shaw. He's missing. Tell me more about this. Robbie Shaw, what exactly? Ironic that the shot of Russell's hypnotic question is just as one of the deputies. Oh, Scott. Oh, that's great. I just have a little toothache. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. No, I don't do anything. It is clip show. Hey! It's in tight. 
It's a clip show to restore their memories. What? Wait. But once you realize that fear this, was all they this, said, this is what's happening. To face it. This is what's happening. Ready? I can do this. And another thing about this really <laughs> show. He was nice enough to teach a boy some martial arts. He taught him that karate should only be used to defend yourself. You're just describing Robbie's daughter episodes. <laughs> How is it that the second clip of this clip show is literally from last week? You cool with that? Sure. I get it. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, when Joey came face to face with the bully, he didn't fight, but he stood up for himself. Thanks to Robbie. I, I kind of wish that definitely been Sherlock Holmes because his accent is far less insane. Leave him alone. Or what, Dweebus? Come on, let's go. Okay, so apparently it's. Yeah, it would have, oh, I guess no. it has to be. Yes! Okay, I'm. I, I make a pretty convincing police officer. I, I'm. Where is everyone? I think it's it's kind of great that Robbie was the first one they cured, just so that we didn't have to deal with the Sherlock Holmes accent for the rest of the episode. What? What? I get it. Sure worked on me while I find Zoe. I tracked down Doctor Nate Frankenstein. Got it. This is this is insane. I'll roll with it, but this is insane. Who is the best up to be? Need to clear all personnel off some chlorine. Excuse me. I don't have time to explain, just trust me. Lock down subfloor 8. Locking down subfloor 8. Fourth delicious snack. What is even. What? Okay. Just trying to break it open with a. Go forth delicious snacks! I'm liking after my own trying to break open the vending machine with a plastic axe. It is I, Demon, son of Daniels. I come in peace. Lewis, you are a raider here to steal my plunder. A raider? No. I won't give up my Wow, they are hamming so hard right now. What? Is that not a plastic axe? I... Rangers, bum, bum, go, go, Power Rangers, bum, 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 It's morphin' time, for justice we fight, with beast morphin' light, together we rise, bum, 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 go, go, Power Rangers, go, go, Power Rangers, Power Rangers, beast morphin' I agree with the uh, the cast wasn't had all the laughs. Yeah, I do find it really funny that we've uh, that we've already resolved one of the brainwashings before even hitting the opening credits. Yeah, I forgot we worked on repass the credits until the credits showed up. The worst possible time. It's e it's easy to forget that every time since the credits are now instead of being after the cold open after the first act. Apparently, uh, these Morphin episodes 1 through 8 are now on Netflix. That is true. They did just recently uh, arrive on Netflix. You're watching me. Looking at one of those fish spots. Yep, but I'm pretty sure that's definitely what it's Wait. So we got some uh, Power up. Pokemon Happy Meals. Hey! Become a Pokemon trainer with a launcher and Pokemon trading card game card. Oh, cute. And a Happy Meal fun goes on and on and on. I feel like Zoe is trying to be Flynn from RPM. Yes. So, so to answer, Scottish. So, He's not a Viking. So, so Caleb, to answer the question that I saw from you before we started the stream, yes, it is currently reminding me of RPM in that we have somebody trying to pretend to be Scottish. Although in this case, she claims she's a Viking. She claims she's she's a Scottish Viking. 
I, don't, I can't even right now with the accent. So. I'm not going to pretend that I'm great with accents, but I'm also not going to pretend that they're doing great with their accents. Devin's actually doing quite well. He's proving to be quite versatile. Hey, Ollie, how are you doing, little buddy? Okay. Okay, you were talking about Evox before. Yeah, uh, Evox is, is clearly similar to Vengeance in terms of being a, uh, uh, an evil computer virus. Uh, I find that those, that's about it as far as similarities go. Um, Actually, last I checked, New Zealand doesn't even air Power Rangers because it's too violent. I think, no, I think they've, I think they've started airing air them now at this stage. No, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> yeah. I remember Plants vs. Zombies being a thing. I never played it. I never played it. Have fun with the new Lego Friends Amusement Chair. Visit Lego Life for more fun. Ask your parents for going online. Oh, well, at least they're getting more creative with Lego. Yeah. Take that, Doctor. Woohoo! Yes. Yes. Oh, they're now they're really stepping up on the unicorn. The conclusion of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, it's been a mini series. This looks interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a rubber axe. I was lucky. Jesse Torres points out that there was a boy in that Lego Friends Oh, nice. I don't think so. Sorry, Andrew. What? What's happening? What? Okay. Okay, you know, sure. Kimber? Yeah, the, it, was a, it was a rubber, it was a rubber axe, so. I am a failure! Nonsense! You are fierce and brave. You remind me of the greatest warrior ever to fight beside me. The mighty Zoe Reeves. Zoe Reeves? Zoe Reeves is a fearless warrior who so never runs away from a challenge and will always jump in to solve big problems. Like the days of the King Ranger. Is this a drone? No, there's an attack in the Morphe Room. We're evacuating. Okay, the stardust air, um, when it came back after oh, okay. the PM was so maybe, it was the first one they would have gotten the Samurai. I'm sorry. Ooh! So we can definitely hold her up. Now we got another. And is always quick to apologize. And make things right. Okay. Has anyone seen my tablet? Well, like you, Jesse. Jeff says he okay. brought it in here to charge, but I Let's looked uh, and he didn't. See my chat. Oh, sometimes I think I'd be better off without a B spot. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, has anyone seen the B spots in what? several episodes now? Um, I saw we saw Jax in episode twelve. Jax, I. I want to say no, eleven. Eleven. And this is. This is episode 14. I mean, so technically, Steel is kind of a big spot. Guess I count on you for more than I realize. The oh. truth is, I've taken you for granted. It's okay. So do the writers. We really don't see enough of the big spots. Oh, Zoe, that's, that's 
me. Huh? Uh, wait, what am I doing? What are you doing in a costume? Thought you didn't like them. It's a long story. More fun than I expected. No. Okay, so he's learning to like Hollywood. Dr. Frankenstein, am I really so hideous that even you can't look at me? Yes! <laughs> this is very silly. Okay, Zoe's bow tie is, is, is adorable. They're so close, they're basically brothers. She's trying to be Dr. Fuller. Their names are Nate and Steel. They're known as the Gold and Silver Power Rangers. They work together to fight evil. Really? Yes. It all began when Nate was forced by an evil virus to create a robot body. But luckily, he had a trick up his sleeve. Well done. At least it isn't Halloween court. <laughs> Zoe's accents are wonderful. I don't know. They're definitely better than Robbie's, that's for sure. Four out of five fake doctors are not made out of robot parts, while the remaining one is part human. There we go. All along, Nate was planning to morph into a ranger. Like the, the wish was. 
Well, only if these guys break the bow. Whoa. Yeah. Looks like the robot is made of tuning forks. Well, I mean, in the Sentai, it was made of just regular forks. And he was called Forkroy, according to Kevin 96. Yeah, Forkroy. Forkroy, Roy, Lloyd, however. Here, of course, he is Spike Pro. Yes. We have to do something about that Giga Drunk. You two go. I'll handle Pointy Head. Okay. That, that, was, was, that was the episode where, um, where, uh, Jin had his random English person moment. Of, of all the monsters, I guess I guess the the fourth monster was the one they just felt like not really focusing on. Oh, we got a we got another Delta. This is creepy. And now into the, uh, That was no less creepy when it happened at End of Evangelion than it is here. Okay, here, here's what I'm going to note here, uh, Dustin. So he's saying they, they named it Fortron instead of, they named it Spiketron instead of Fortron because Fortron would sound too stupid. Why, why are they concerned with that? With everything else that has happened in this episode? Like, it looks like this robot will create a fork in the road? I mean, I sure. get the pun, but I'm not really sure how it's creating and dividing now. Sure, why not? I feel like four unicorns would be just as fast as the one unicorn. I, that's, like, functionally speaking, that's not how speed works. Now, when it comes to pulling works. a cart, that's, you might be able to get more speed out of the additional that, That's true, and the one unicorn would probably tire. But, generally speaking, though, what one, is going on? just on their own, four unicorns are not faster than one puff. unicorn, it's I would think. It's a cheeky puff. New cheeky puffs are the cutest way to get your glow on. Pretty on the outside, with a surprise plush on the inside. They're sparkly. What? They're sweet. They're cheeky puffs, each sold separately. Okay. We'll actually be wrestling today. We'll be looking. Weird. We all know that America's most musical family is the Partridge family. Because yeah, they're magically delicious. No. I've heard, uh, I, I think I've read the 2020 Sentai name somewhere, but, uh, but let, let's hold off on any reveals on that. Because uh, I, I like to give MJ a, uh, a surprise. What is that, a, a YouTube show? That is now having merchandising being advertised on Nickelodeon? Yes. Oh, that's Woo! Become a sea life friend. Push and pledge at Lego.com. Wow. Lego Friends is really stepping Lego up. Lego Friends is doing marine Do biology. Huh. That's cool. I mean, not that there's much that has been revealed about the new Sentai. Like, I'm aware of the little bit that's been posted. Like, I think I've seen the name, which implied the premise, and that's about it. Um... You're right, Jesse. Yeah, Doc, Doc Brown established that more horses doesn't make for more speed when you're trying to get up to 88 miles an hour. Now, but, but apparently, what he really needed was more unicorns. Well, also, it's possible that if you were only trying to reach a max speed of 30 miles per hour, that the additional unicorns would help. True. Remember, he's just trying to outrun small children on bicycles. I suppose.
So it might just require a little bit of extra unicorn to do you like scary stories? Overcome the weight of his chariot. Yes. Well, he didn't have a chariot at first. He just had the one, the one unicorn. At first. Yeah, one unicorn pulling a chariot. No, it was just no? he was just riding the unicorn, and then oh, and then he cast a spell, and then suddenly him and the unicorn were in the chariot being pulled by the other two. Which, yeah, you know, it gives your one unicorn a break from carrying you, but now, now those three are carrying you, the, the chariot, unicorn. and the chariot, uh, you, the unicorn, and the chariot. No, see, I thought it was one unicorn pulling a chariot. No, it wasn't. by three unicorns pulling a no. chariot. No, there was so no chariot until he got the other. And unicorn. that remains no less creepy here and than we're it was back. in Evangelion. Yep. Go. Any classic seasons of Power Rangers you will love to hate your Let's go! Okay, any... Yes, Jesse, that makes perfect sense. That's exactly what Jake was trying to say. Yes. Devin and Zoe are in trouble. We need to help them. You need to help yourself. Yeah, yeah. Bobby, you go. We can handle the silverware. Okay. <laughs> Um, I would say I have a uh, love-hate relationship with any classic seasons. Maybe with some of the more recent seasons. Um, like, I mean, Super Mega Force is hilariously bad in, in, in a lot of respects. Like, it was so bizarre that it was entertaining. Right. Beetle. Yep. And done. Bye bye. Set that footage spotted. Yeah, it is. Phenomenal. Oh, yeah. This, this, uh, this whole fight sequence has been set back for Since they morphed up. You know what I'm thinking? Megazord time! There we go. Beast X, Megazord, come on! <coughs> I really wish the Delta Game of Thrones form had been given more of a proper introduction. It's, it's, it's such a crazy thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's doing sparks and... No, that's not good. No. We're getting the Striker Megazord back in here? My system's down! More extensive uh, fight scene than I was called. Let's finish the job. Battle mode! 
And so it was, yeah, that was the introduction of the Battle Mode for the Record Store. But yeah, if you look at the design of the Record Store, it's very similar in design to the, uh, to the Delta Gigacom. It's got the same crest on its head, it's got the same uh, blade thing on its arm. And I think uh, that it's always cool, kind of a cool design aesthetic thing. Its extending arm is so ridiculous. It's hilarious. That's the fun thing, shit. Whoosh! Collider crash. Good job. That was close. Are you sure about this? Don't worry, we were the only ones to access Frozzle's website before I shut it down. Hey, where's Devin? Probably taking off the costumes he ate so much. He's a ninja! He's a... Chill out, you guys, it's just me. Devin, you decided that it's fun. Sensei Bones is my favorite character in Backstreet Ballad 3. Pretending to be him is just a blast. Wait a sec. Now you like wearing costumes? Yay! Yeah. There we go. Silly, but once I got into being the character, Halloween became a lot of fun. <laughs> hey, there we go. Who wants to take on the sensei? Now those make clanging noises when before we establish that it's a rubber. Uh, I, 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 a rubber. A rubber. Maybe, maybe his, uh, maybe his toy sword. A rubber axe. Maybe his toy sword has built-in sound effects. Wow. My brain is off. I'm going to go with his toy sword has built-in sound effects. Yay, go for built-in sound effects. That is my explanation. I still haven't watched that Toy Story. No, we still haven't seen Toy Story 4. I'm sure that it's very good because every Toy Story movie has been. We just haven't got around to seeing it. I think we were just never in an emotional state to go see it because it's just... Toy Story has developed a reputation for... Making you cry! Just, yeah, just emotionally wrecking you. Um, Alright, so let's see. Oh, well, um... So regarding this episode, uh, it was cute, very silly, you know... It was a clip show. It was a clip show. They, um had a few fun elements, but it was still pretty cheap, chizzy, cheap and cheesy, cheap and cheesy clip show. Um, yes. It felt very similar in certain regards to The Ghostess with the Mostess, but um, without the added mystery element that made that one extra interesting. Um, what was The Ghostess? That was the... Um, the Dino Charge Halloween special for their first year, where they... Oh, yeah, where they were trying to figure out which one... Which one was the fake. fake. And so they were using their memories to prove who they were. In this case, it was using their memories to get their memories back, which I guess is is more in line with the... Um, At the time, Mr. Hellman, it came across more offensive because they also had an Asian Yellow Ranger. Yeah. Um, and it was the 90s. Yeah. Um... The, it was total coincidence, but they were yeah. just like, oh, wow, that came off wrong, so let's swap them. So you've got Aisha for the Yellow Ranger and yeah. uh, Adam, for the, Adam for the Black Ranger. Um, and they did not do that again until Overdrive, and then they made it a terrible thing again because they cast an actual thief to play a thief. Yeah. Cause I don't think, well, I don't think it was a thief at the time they cast him. At the time him. they cast him. But, um, yeah, there were, there were bad connotations in that one. Um, but yeah, and then the whole, I guess the, the premise was a little bit more in line with the Dino Supercharged Christmas special, um, <laughs> where they, again, they got brainwashed and then they had to use their memories to unbrainwash them. Um, with the, with the added element of the costumes, have, having them play characters, and so we had... That was fun. 
a little pseudo lesson. I wouldn't. I don't even know if I'd call it a lesson of the week. Oh, but it was cute that Devin um, learned to appreciate Halloween costumes. Yeah. Um, I thought Ghostess with the Mostest was um, a, a better S- Halloween special. Better. Pri- primarily because um, it had that mystery element. That mystery element, which it I thought was very nice. trying to figure out who's the fake. The, the whodunit made it a lot of fun. This one was very wacky. Tyler the Evil Elf. Very fun. I probably would have enjoyed it a little bit more if they'd done something a little bit more with the Rangers being their respective characters. Um, and if the accents were just so... Well, the accents were bad enough that they were entertaining. In Zoe's case. In Robbie's case. In Robbie's case, annoying. it was just really awkward. <laughs> Which is a shame, because... I think part of it is, is if you're going to do a bad accent, you have to commit 100%. And Zoe really did. She did. But Ravi was just like, no, no, I'm going to try and make this work. I'm going to try and make this actually work. And he could not make this actually work. It was, it was slipping longer. in and out and all over the place. It was like a slip and slide. There were no clips in the last third of the clip show. That's true. Well, it was all the Sentai battle. Um, Which is fiscally uh, approximately the same. Yeah. We got we got Shaw. Uh, we yeah. Didn't, we didn't Mom, get... lockdown! We didn't get Ben and Betty, but we Flore. did get Shaw this time. <laughs> oh, actually, Flore. you know, I would have liked to have seen Ben and Betty in this one. This seemed like an episode that where they could have had some fun interactions with the Rangers. Lockdown floor eight. Excuse me? Yeah. Mom! Just do Just it. Just do it! Mom! I don't have time to explain. But, Mom. um... Mom! I feel like Ben and Betty would have gotten into the Halloween spirit, and that could have been fun. Um, but I, it looks like they tried to keep it low on the supporting cast for the Halloween episode, as they often yeah, do. Yeah, like Jake C. said, um, Jesse says, yeah. clip shows, they try to keep the price down. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I do kind of wish that we had seen how, what Ben and Betty decided to do for Halloween, because I feel like that would have actually... They would have had some pretty fun costumes. They, like, they're, they t- tend to be very hit and miss, but I feel like that would have been a good fit for their characters, especially considering how childlike they behave. Um, Halloween would be a natural fit for them. Horse costume? Exactly. Yes, and of course... I mean, course, we know that Power Rangers has and, a horse and costume. Betty from... would have made herself the front. Yeah. We know that Power Rangers own, you know, at least has had a horse costume because Victor and Monty, Monty dressed up as a horse uh, in episode 8 of Power Rangers Ninja Steel when they were in line... To meet Levi Weston. I love how he just knows this off the top of his head. Yeah. Um, this is what I married. But I also feel like um, Ravi as Sherlock Holmes was a missed opportunity. Um, a two-headed parrot? Why? A, it's a reference to a Power Rangers monster um, from, uh, from season one. Uh, which, although they were just referred to the two-headed parrot in the um, in the show, the the actual toy I believe was called Pete and Repeat. What? You almost dropped your phone. Yeah, you know? yeah, it was on it was on my charger. And got Will we go on the amazing race? You know what's funny is we've, I we've, actually considered we've, we've whether or not that, that was a good idea, and we've decided it would be a terrible idea because I am a hypersomniac. Yeah, it wouldn't go well for you. Crying by we, the third episode. Like we work together well. We work together so well, but, but the problem is, is you we would not, not get enough sleep. You would not work. You would not survive that. No, I'm not physically well enough. For it, so the problem with it would definitely be that like we would get to one of those situations where they're like running and they're dropping their bags or whatever, and I would just yeah. collapse on my knees and cry. No, you know who I actually I would walk anymore. You know who I would probably actually do really well with, Dave. Yeah. Dave and I would probably Jake would, and Dave would go real. We we'd probably do quite well. Yeah. Because like if you could cut out all the running parts of the Amazing Race, then that I could try and do that, but, um, uh, 
ask why it's debating whether or not to show that. Not that. I don't know either. Um, but I could, like, um, the, the physical activity would, it, it would just yeah, result would in, in, in me crying on TV. Um, I mean, you see that. You <coughs> see that where the, the people who don't have the physical stamina necessary get really snippy with each other and crying and arguing, and then they, like, stop being in the race, and then they're just like, I love this yeah. person, and I'm sorry I screamed at you. It was just too much stress. And it's like, that is guaranteed to happen, because... Yes. Um, our that, relationship would be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'd come out of it fine. We, we have basically been through the Amazing Race on, like, every vacation we've ever taken. We've had horrible luck with our vacations. They have been exhausting. Especially when you booked them. Just did that one. But just in general as well. Yes. Um, hey, hey, our honeymoon came out great. True. It was still exhausting. It was true. exhausting. Um, but it came out great. But yeah. anyway, back to my point from before is with the missed opportunities with the Rangers as their characters. And, it, and like, it's... I was okay with it because I didn't really... I knew that if I kept seeing Ravi as Sherlock Holmes, it was going to get annoying, but you had a character think he was Sherlock Holmes, and you didn't have him try to solve a mystery. Seriously. The mystery, the mystery was, was... Where is you? Where is you? I am me! Ah! Oh. I'm Nur, and this is my wallet! Alright, ladies and gentlemen... Uh, per previous agreement, yeah. I am bailing out of this episode early because I am sick as a dog. But you get okay. to keep talking to Jake through this lovely chat interface okay. until Jake decides to call the rest yes, of the episode. Yes, because you are sick, you may you may depart early. I'll I'll wrap up the discussion here because um, we we are already we are already getting getting near the end of things. But I will be happy to address any uh, further questions from the chat. Um, and, and I guess you guys can see me talk to myself, as I tend to do. Um, so, yeah, as far as uh, I tack tackled the, the, my main concerns with this episode, with the lack of the, of the use of the Sherlock Holmes character, I consider to be something of an issue. Um, and I, I will admit I did find the... Uh, the whole rubber axe reaction to be funny. Devin was actually, I thought, really strong with all of his, with, with, with his characters. Um, both as the, as the Bobby, then as the Viking, um, with the, the, the Doctor being sort of a non-character. And Zoe being, being Dr. Phil as the Doctor. She just committed so hard to her accents. It was, it was, I was smiling the whole episode. You guys could see I was smiling the whole episode. Um, even while it was being, like, a little bit brain-hurty absurd. Um, so it, it, I, I'd be hard-pressed to say if this was a good episode or a bad episode. Because I was entertained. Are you not uh, entertained? I was entertained. Um... Even while also acknowledging that it was clearly uh, flawed on a number of points, and they made some very silly choices, like, You're Ravi! You used to be scared of dentists! That is your trait! You... You taught that sad tuba kid about karate! And it's like... You're not going to talk about his tragic relationship with his ex-girlfriend or his complicated issues with his mom. These are just... I feel... Devin, I feel like you're not really Ravi's friend. I feel like you don't really know him that well. If these are the two things that come to mind. It's like, yeah, you're Ravi. You're... You're, you, you're scared of the dentist. I mean, you, you were. Um... And also there was that thing you did last week with that tuba kid that, yeah, remember that last week? <laughs> like of all the character traits to focus on. 
can we ever get a holiday episode that's not a clip show episode and go back to clip shows at the very end of the series before the finale? I feel like at this point it's... I, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> um, I feel like at this point it's become a standard thing. And, okay, yeah, Scott, you, you did just make a good point. I can move to the middle of the couch, I guess. I, I don't know if this makes you guys happier for me to be in the middle of the couch. <laughs> uh, Grave Robber, I thought, was a very good example of, uh, of coming up with something that was a Sentai burner instead of a clip show. Um, that was one of the best ones, I, I think, as far as being innovative with um, not having a budget for, for, the, for the holiday episode. Um, and yet, you know, Ninja Steel, despite being very flawed in many ways, uh, actually really thought through its first two holiday specials to a surprising extent in terms of trying to be creative with them. Like, they were still very silly, um, especially the, the time travel one. But, um, but there was a lot of thought that went into both of those. Like, Grave Robber, they made the effort of coming up with an episode that wasn't a clip show, but still made use of, of Sentai footage. Um, and then the uh, time travel one, again, they, they weren't... It wasn't entirely a clip show in that they were actually traveling in, back in time to the clips. And they even must have shot those locations in advance, which was a, a shocking amount of foresight as far as this show goes. Um, and yeah, uh, then the, the Poise show, although it was a clip show, um, did do a nice job of tying a bow on things for the Dino Charge Ninja Steel, uh, you know, two installment era. The, I, I, you know, the sort of mini era, the second half of the Saban brand's era that, uh, that Chip had control over. And yes, yes, the Ninja Steel Halloween, uh, Ninja Steel Christmas episode was basically Avengers Endgame, as we now know. Um, the Halloween courts have been very silly, um... But yeah, it's it's uh, it's surprising that of all the seasons that we've had now, this this was this is our ninth year of having well not ninth year because Super Mega Force didn't happen. Okay, so eight. This is the eighth out of nine years uh, to have these holiday specials, um, and there's only been one that wasn't a clip show, and that's kind of interesting. Um, with that one being Grave Robber. Um, although the past, presence, and future was, was a little bit of a gray area. Alright, so, um, well, have a good night, Jesse. And, uh, alright, we, and, and, Dustin, going off of the description, it looked like you're going to be a squirrel, uh, or possibly squirrel girl. Uh, I, like, I, you, maybe you want to be Squirrel Girl? I don't know. Um. Oh, that's right, Trickster Treat. Well, Trickster Treat is a weird example. Because it isn't, it isn't. Okay, you're, you're right, Trickster Treat, uh, was an example of one that wasn't exactly a clip show. But it also was because it did recycle footage from the finale which is weird. They recycled the unmorphed fight footage from the finale that hadn't yet aired, so it was like a reverse clip show. And that was also the only time that we saw the Rangers unmorphed. It was very weird. Okay, so you, so you are being a squirrel and not squirrel girl. Just double checking. Uh, she's super powerful, so... Uh, yeah, trick, Trickster Treat was... All Sentai footage, except for that one little bit where they showed the rangers fighting in the quarry unmorphed. 
there was that one little bit of Tricks or Treat where they were unmorphed, where they were fighting, and then they did the rewind, replay, rewind, replay, which was weird. I, however, I do absolutely love our review of Tricks or Treats. That was one of my favorite reviews. It's one of my favorite Power Rangers, uh, Power Reviews episodes that we've done. Uh, if you haven't seen our review of Trickster Treat, you absolutely should. It's DRPR 44. It all takes place in Database Rangers' head, and it's super fun. Um, so, oh, hey, Rose. Uh, yeah, we just wrapped up. Um, so... Yeah, I think, uh, uh, unless you guys have any other, any other questions for me, um, I don't know how many of you may have checked out the, um, the conversations in context from earlier this week. I don't know if you have any questions about that. Um, as I've said, I'm still working on Power Reviews 89. Uh, got some more footage done today, but it's still a slow thing. Um, and yes, Rose, I would agree that the, uh, that the actors really pushed themselves this episode. The only one that I felt was a weak link, unfortunately, uh, was Jazz as Robbie. He was trying, but his his Sherlock Holmes accent just was really not doing it for me. Uh, I like that he was trying to get to get go out there with it. Um, yeah, I will say that the um, that the Spike Tron or Forkroyd or whatever you want to call it. Um, he's a cool-looking monster, um, but I really wish they could have found one that was a bit more in the season of Halloween. I don't know, I don't know which Go Busters monster would have been a better fit, but I feel like there's, there should have been one that, that could have worked better. Um, the only ones that are coming to mind are, are from late in the series, and so it would make sense they wouldn't want to use those. Like, you know, maybe the, the, like the film, the film roid would have been cool if you were doing, you know, movie monsters. But, um, but I think that one went up against the uh, Ultra Zord, so that wouldn't have been appropriate. Um, and then there's the, uh, the, the Beetle roid. Uh, or whatever it was called, Kogatoroid, um, from towards the end of the series, which again would have been um, too advanced of a Zord battle. Um, Burn yeah, it's interesting that the Burneroid hasn't been adapted yet. I don't know if we're going to see that one or not, um, which has been a little strange. Um, and, and yes, Trickster was a, a very you know, sort of exotic design by just being really creepy looking. Um, I forget what the name of the Kami was that it was, of the yokai was that it was based off of. Um, I, keep getting, I keep losing the word for yokai. Uh, but I do believe that it was the inspiration for the Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth, and that's just a cool, creepy design. Um, I know in, in, in our review of that episode, we... Uh, we tackled a little bit of the mythology behind it. To know me, that was it. Yes. Um, and as far as what I'm going to be for Halloween, I have not actually decided. Um, I'm probably going to be like a mad scientist or something, because uh, I feel like it'd be appropriate for uh, for for school. Um, like. You know, specifically, uh, I'm I'm heavily considering Doc Brown right now, just because I I know I've got that. Oh, I've just put a bunch of white white in my hair, wear some goggles and a lab coat, and I'm pretty much there. Um, oh, that's an interesting that's an interesting idea, doing a conversations in context about adoption. There have been quite a few. Power Rangers who have been part of adopted families. That is something I, I hadn't thought of. Um, there's a lot of topics to, to, to explore. So oh, that would be an interesting one to add onto the list. Um, I've been trying to aim for slightly more uh, 
topical discussions, but as I continue to expand, that, that does seem like it would be an interesting thing to explore. Because um, it's, not, it's not just Trent. We have had you know, multiple rangers from adopted families with complex relationships with their, with their adopted families. Um, so, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Um, I, I don't know when the next conversations and contexts will be, uh, especially since I'm so behind on so many things right now. Um, but I, I will, I'll keep you guys in the loop on that. Uh, and with that, I think we're, we're pretty much, uh, wrapping up with the end of things. So I hope that you guys, um, enjoyed this week's live reactions. Uh, sorry that MJ had to go, uh, had to go rest. Hopefully we'll be feeling better next week. I'm even feeling a little, a little, uh, tickly here. So I should probably get a nice good amount of sleep, uh, cause I've got a ton of grading to catch up on. So, uh, all of you guys in the chat, thank you again for joining us. I hope you have a great night, um, and a great time prepping for Halloween. Uh, and until next time, farewell, Ranger fans, and let the power protect you. You're feeling spooky, man.